Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Syrian President Dr. Bashar Al Assad, where he expressed his condolences to the Syrian President, people, and the families of the victims of the earthquake that struck a number of Syrian governorates. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the victims in peace and wish the injured a speedy recovery. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's solidarity with Syria in these difficult circumstances and its keenness on providing support to mitigate the repercussions of the disaster. The Syrian President expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his noble sentiments, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect Bahrain and its people from all harm and to maintain its security and stability. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Turkish President Rajat Tayyip Erdogan where he expressed his condolences to the Turkish President, people and the families of the victims of the earthquake that struck southeastern Turkey. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the victims in peace and wish the injured a speedy recovery. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's solidarity and support to Turkey and its readiness to provide support to mitigate the repercussions of the disaster. For his part, the Turkish President expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his noble sentiments, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect Bahrain and its people from all harm and to maintain its security and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa directed to dispatch urgent humanitarian relief aid to countries affected by the earthquake, which jolted Turkey and Syria, leaving a number of casualties and missing people, and causing massive destruction. His Majesty instructed the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, chaired by His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to deliver relief aid to the earthquake victims. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King, the RHF Honorary Chairman, for his continued humanitarian humanitarian initiatives in support of disaster-stricken and people in need worldwide, in line with Bahrain's efforts to foster international solidarity. His Highness commended the support of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the RHF, affirming its pride in implementing His Majesty's directives. His Highness reiterated Bahrain's unwavering solidarity with quake-stricken countries and commitment to contribute to alleviating people's suffering to affirm the strong relations with Turkey and Syria. The RHF Secretary General, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, announced that the foundation will coordinate with relevant ministries to harness all efforts and dispatch urgent relief aid. He added that the foundation led by His Highness Sheikh Nasser will work to support the victims of the earthquake and alleviate the family's sufferings. The Representatives' Council held the weekly session presided over by its Speaker Ahmed al -Msallam. The session approved a report of the Public Utilities and Environment Committee on a draft law ratifying the agreement between the Government of Bahrain and the UK regarding air services. The members discussed the government's policy regarding high prices, plans to maintain them, and the steps prepared and taken by the government to control inflation and the rise in prices of various commodities, including, including basic ones. The council reviewed a number of proposals, including a request by the Civil Service Bureau to redisperse allowances and additional privileges for employees of government ministries, in addition to five other service proposals. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, visited the Syrian embassy in Bahrain to offer condolences over the victims of the earthquake that struck the northern regions of Syria and the south of Turkey yesterday. The Foreign Affairs Minister expressed to the Syrian ambassador de designate to the kingdom, Hamad Ali Ibrahim, Bahrain's sincere condolences and sympathy to the Syrian government and people over the calamity, which resulted in the death and injury of hundreds of people and the collapse of buildings, homes, and properties. He extended his wishes of speedy recovery to the injured, stressing the kingdom's sympathy and solidarity with Syria and its people in this painful disaster. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, visited the Embassy of Turkey in Bahrain to offer condolences for the victims of the earthquake. The Minister expressed to the Turkish Ambassador, Isan Chakil, the sincere condolences and sympathy of Bahrain, its king, government and people, to the government and people of Turkey for the victims of the devastating earthquake that struck Turkey and Syria, which resulted in the death of injury of hundreds of people and collapses of buildings, homes and properties. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to grant all the injured a speedy recovery, stressing the kingdom's solidarity with Turkey and its people in this painful disaster. The President of the Electricity and Water Authority, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, announced the success of launching the new and developed system for subscriber services, which comes within the development strategy pursued by the AWA during the current stage. More in this report. 
A month after announcing its launch, and after the Electricity and Water Authority worked hard within a series of procedures and carried out several checks and audits of the system to verify the ease of its application, the new system is now launched for subscriber services and billing with a new and improved experience. The new system is part of the development strategy pursued by the AWA during the next phase, which is mainly based on digital transformation, as the authority was keen to adopt various development projects in this regard. Many features accompany the new system, and it is integrated and secure and ensures constant communication with subscribers to facilitate the provision of services. An integrated system that keeps pace with the latest technologies in the field of electricity and water, and what supported its establishment to achieve this distinction is the great efforts made by the authority, which paved the way for its launch by creating a modern infrastructure that takes care of the transmission and distribution of electricity and water with ease and perfection. The Minister of Tourism, Fatma Sarafi, held a meeting with the UAE Minister of Economy, Abdullah Al-Marray, in Abu Dhabi. The two ministers discussed aspects of cooperation between the two brotherly countries to further develop the tourism sector. The progress made in terms of launching joint tourism packages and promoting tourism destinations in the two countries, in addition to benefiting from joint experiences in developing the tourism industry. The meeting reviewed tourism investment opportunities in both countries, strengthening cooperation frameworks in the field of tourism and hotel training and education, managing tourism information, and exchanging its data. Al-Sayrafi affirmed Bahrain's keenness to continue cooperating with the UAE to develop bilateral partnership and tourism activities. The Kingdom of Bahrain has made many achievements thanks to the National Action Charter in various fields, especially in the field of economic development and improving the standard of living of citizens. More on this report. Since the launch of the National Action Charter, the Kingdom of Bahrain has preserved the economic foundations and its development. These foundations have contributed to promoting economic freedom and attracting local and foreign investments in line with the Economic Vision 2030. The Charter contributed to providing a perfect environment for entrepreneurs. The Kingdom witnessed great interest from all stakeholders in the entrepreneurship sector, starting from the enhancement of economic laws and legislation through the launch of specialized programs to support individuals and institutions. The Kingdom of Bahrain continues to influence the economy in response to market needs and is keen to diversify the services provided, which are not limited to financial support only, but rather spread the culture of entrepreneurship in Bahraini society and urge young people to start their entrepreneurial business project by providing all supportive programs and initiatives. The health sector is one of the most important sectors in the Kingdom of Bahrain and following the inauguration of King Hamad American Mission Hospital, the sector witnessed further developments in addition to higher quality and efficient services. More on this report. The American Mission Hospital has always had a history rich in achievements through which it provided the best medical and treatment services to citizens and residents in the Kingdom of Bahrain and was able to keep pace with developments in the field of medicine and health. This hospital uh, was built with the generosity of His Majesty, the King of Bahrain, uh, and the land was given, and we started building on the site uh, in September of 2020, in the middle of COVID. And on the 26th of January of 2023, when the hospital was inaugurated, it was inaugurated on the same day, 120 years ago, when the first AMH was inaugurated in 1903. Today, the American Mission Hospital continues its achievements by opening its new branch in Ali, which includes the best health services and the latest equipment in the kingdom, which comes in partnership with one of the international treatment institutions. So this hospital, what does it bring to, to Bahrain in healthcare? There are several differences of what this hospital is as compared to another hospital. Uh, today's technology and tomorrow's future of health is based on just not one hospital that is fully automated, fully digitized, fully AI run. But the hospital is only one part of a larger ecosystem that provides health care for the people. The Kingdom of Bahrain continues to exert tireless efforts to provide the highest health standards and treatment services by offering new medical facilities during the coming period, which coincides with the implementation of the health insurance system.